Looking back at the defining AI breakthroughs over the last decade, these teams have contributed to a significant number of them. We recently brought these two teams together into a single unit, Google DeepMind. Using the computational resources of Google, they have focused on building more capable systems safely and responsibly. Recently announced Google's Gemini AI project could potentially outperform OpenAI's ChatGPT and Microsoft's Bing AI. Gemini's Google's ambitious AI initiatives drawing inspiration from AlphaGo's problem-solving techniques with the aim of redefining AI capabilities and surpassing models like ChatGPT. With this new AI project called Gemini, which has the potential to rival DeepMind's AlphaGo, Google is preparing to revolutionize the industry. Keep watching to the very end to learn more about this subject. AlphaGo, developed by DeepMind, is based on a deep neural network. This is a type of artificial intelligence that is inspired by the way the brain works. To promote learning by doing, the program was created. It received instruction by competing with other Go programs and by observing human players. AlphaGo has achieved some impressive results. The program was initially created to play Go at a high level, and its accomplishment in doing so garnered a lot of interest from the artificial intelligence community. Both AlphaGo and similar artificial intelligence programs have many drawbacks. One is that they're only able to function within the constraints that are placed on them. This means that if there is a new game or situation that they have not been programmed to understand, they will not be able to figure it out. Additionally, these programs are not able to think creatively like humans can. They're limited to developing solutions based on the information provided to them. Finally, these programs lack the capacity to comprehend human thought or justify their actions to them. People may find it challenging to trust them as a result, but there is no denying that they expected to compete with ChatGPT and even the formidable GPT-4 in terms of understanding and producing natural language. Gemini is the brainchild of Google's DeepMind, led by CEO Denise Hassa. He expects Gemini to compete favorably with the current AI models like ChatGPT. Gemini is designed to handle any data or task without relying on specialized models aiming to produce unique content that transcends the limitation of its training data. The development blueprint for Gemini leverages the triumphs of Google's AI AlphaGo, which made headlines by defeating a world champion in the game of Go back in 2016. The techniques that fueled AlphaGo's success have been implemented in Gemini, combining AlphaGo's problem-solving prowess with advanced language processing capabilities. This involves reinforcement learning, a method where software iteratively attempts to complete tasks and improves based on performance feedback. So what exactly is Gemini all about? Well, it's Google's latest project in the realm of large language models. The full form is Generalized Multimodal Intelligence Network and is essentially a powerful AI system capable of handling multiple types of data and tasks simultaneously. This includes text, images, audio, video, 3D models, and graphs. Tasks range from question answering, summarization, translation, captioning, sentiment analysis, and more. Gemini, however, is a network of models working together to produce the best results. It is not just one model. Now let's delve into how Gemini works. Essentially, Gemini employs a new architecture that comprises two main components, a multimodal encoder and a multimodal decoder. The encoder's role is to translate various data types into a common language comprehensible to the decoder. The decoder then generates outputs and different models based on encoded inputs and the given task. For instance, if the input is an image and the task is to generate a caption, the encoder translates the image into a feature-rich vector. All the decoder produces a text output describing the image. What distinguishes Gemini and makes it unique are its advantages over other large language models such as GPT-4. Firstly, it is highly adaptable, capable of handling any data type and task without requiring specialized models or extensive fine-tuning. Additionally, it can learn from various domains and datasets without being restricted by predefined categories or labels. This sets it apart from models trained solely on specific domains or tasks enabling Gemini to efficiently address new and unforeseen scenarios. Gemini is also exceptionally efficient, it utilizes fewer computational resources and memory compared to models that handle different modalities separately. Its distributed training strategy optimizes multiple devices and servers to accelerate the learning process. Importantly, Gemini can scale up to larger datasets and models without compromising the performance or quality. Regarding size and complexity, a common measure for large language models is their parameter count. Parameters are numerical variables that represent the model's learned knowledge, facilitating predictions and text generation. More parameters enhance a model's potential to generate diverse and accurate outputs, but they also require greater computational resources. With 1 trillion parameters, GPT-4 boasts a size roughly 6 times greater than GPT-3.5's 175 billion parameters. 
Although the precise parameter accounts for Gemini's different sizes, Gecko, Otter, Bison, and Unicorn are not given. They are anticipated to be similar to GPT-4, if not slightly smaller. Gemini's capabilities extend to tasks more varied and extensive than GPT-4. It excels in multimodal question answering, handling queries involving text and images simultaneously. For example, questions like who is the author of this book can be effectively answered by Gemini. Additionally, Gemini offers multimodal summarization, extracting information from diverse data types such as text and audio. Projected features of Gemini are already generating global interest with predictions of significant impact on the AI domain. The generative AI industry, estimated to reach 80.16 billion pounds by 2030, he anticipates substantial transformation from Gemini's capabilities. Google's previous AI ventures like the ChatGPT bot encountered challenges, underscoring the importance of a flawless Gemini launch to avoid market fluctuations. As Gemini's development progresses, it holds the potential to reshape the AI industry and sets new benchmarks for AI capabilities. However, its performance against models like ChatGPT and GPT-4 can only be determined when the final version is assessed in real-world scenarios. Google's integration of Gemini into services like Search, Gmail, and Google Docs could enhance user experiences through accurate responses, multimodal understanding, and content generation. Another noteworthy aspect is that Gemini has been trained on YouTube video transcripts. Speculation suggests that integrating video and audio into Gemini could aid tasks like diagnosing car problems based on videos or generating advanced text-to-video content like Runway ML. It's becoming increasingly clear that Gemini aims to be an everything model. Notably, one of Google's co-founders, Sergey Brin, is deeply involved in the Gemini project. Moreover, Google's lawyers have been meticulously evaluating the training process, even removing training data sources from textbooks, which aided the model's understanding of various subjects. Now let's move on to the release of Meta's Code Llama, which happened just a few hours ago. This model has been generating a lot of buzz. Code Llama comes in three versions. Code Llama, Code Llama Instruct, which better understands natural language instructions, and Code Llama Python, specialized in Python. It's noteworthy that Code Llama Python, with 1.3 billion parameters, boasts human evaluation scores comparable to models with far more parameters. That is quite impressive. Another interesting feature of Code Llama is its ability to handle code switching, where a multilingual speaker switches between languages in the same sentence. This is particularly exciting for multilingual individuals who naturally switch between languages during conversations. On to Meta's Seamless M4T, which was recently released. This model is a powerhouse for multilingual translation, covering speech-to-text, speech-to-speech, and text-to-text translation across almost 10 languages. It's even capable of outputting content in 36 languages. The feature that stands out is its capability to handle code switching, where multiple languages are used within the same sentence. Now shifting focus to a remarkable story from yesterday, AI has given a paralyzed woman the ability to speak again. By decoding brain signals into text at nearly 80 words per minute, this breakthrough has significantly improved her speech abilities. Lastly, there is the 88-page AI Consciousness Report, co-authored by notable figures like Yashua Benjo, a Turing Award winner. This report delves into the complex topic of consciousness and artificial intelligence. The authors discuss various indicators and theories related to consciousness. However, they admit that the field lacks consensus on what consciousness truly entails and how it arises. The report touches on multiple theories of consciousness and draws analogies to AI systems. It explores indicators that might suggest the presence of consciousness in AI. While the report doesn't provide definitive answers, it does suggest that conscious AI systems might be possible sooner than many people believe. There are significant risks associated with both under-attributing and over-attributing consciousness to AI. The recent influx of AI news has been truly exciting, from Google's Gemini to Meta's Code Llama and the AI Consciousness Report. The AI landscape is rapidly evolving. These advancements hit at a future where AI systems could have capabilities that were once the stuff of science fiction. However, many questions remain unanswered, and the intersection of AI and consciousness continues to be a topic of intense debate and exploration. In conclusion, Google's Gemini project poses a substantial challenge to models like GPT-4 and GPT-5 in the years ahead with its multimodal approach. The industry can expect more applications and services leveraging Gemini's capabilities, potentially revolutionizing user experiences and creative content generation. As details emerge, monitoring Gemini's development becomes crucial. While its potential to outperform ChatGPT and other AI systems is promising, definitive conclusions will require real-world evaluation. This underscores the future impact of Gemini on the AI landscape and its potential to redefine industry standards.
We hope you found this video useful. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. To see more videos, click on the bell icon.